guys, Taylor here, your backstage beautician, and today we're doing a hairstyle for the ensemble of the musical White Christmas. I love Christmas. White Christmas is a classic movie to watch around the holiday time, and it's been made into a musical that is popular with all sorts of theater companies all across the nation. I love Christmas. All right, let's get started on this hairstyle. To start off this hairstyle, you're going to channel your inner grandma by sleeping overnight in a wet set and foam rollers. There's lots of videos already on YouTube that show you how to do an overnight set with foam rollers, so I'm going to send you to one of those because I have no idea what I'm doing. Wake up in your rollers, make sure they're dry, and then take them out. Please be dry, please be dry. Oh, they're not going to be dry. Shoot! I've discovered through trial and error that the longer and thicker your hair is, the longer it'll take to dry in these foam rollers, but you can't just go with less water because then the curl won't hold, so... So I put these in about mm, 8 o'clock last night, and it's currently... 10 o'clock this morning, so these have been in for about 14 hours now. I feel like I'm ripping so much hair out of my head. Shirley Temple motivated. Shoot. God help the mister who comes between me and my sister. And God help the sister who comes between me and my man. That song has been stuck in my head since I started researching this entire hairstyle. Now that I've done these foam rollers, I gotta say, they're really not that comfortable to sleep in. Poor Shirley Temple probably never got a decent night's sleep in her life wearing these things. Last one. Oh my lord. I, oh, oh, I look great. Oh, I look amazing. Okay, time for the brush out. Most people don't like the sound a brush makes on a brush out, so I'll uh... Voice over time, you're welcome for sparing you from those awful brushing sounds. So the first thing I did was pull apart every ringlet on my head to kind of space them out and spread them out. And then I took a big flat paddle brush with four bristles in it and just brushed. I brushed like my life absolutely depended on it. You want to brush out every single one of these curls, they don't call it a brush out for a reason. Try to brush up and out rather than straight down so you're not pulling the curls down and out. As floofy as this might look, you can see pieces that are starting to clump together because the curl pattern's all going in the same way, which is what we're going for. All right, so we've reached 80s officially. I'm a bit of a wet set newbie, so if you guys are pros, don't be too harsh on me. The one thing I've heard in all my research is that even when you think things look hopeless, just keep brushing. So that's what I've got to keep doing. Is it entertaining to watch someone brush out their hair for this long? I certainly hope so because I got no other tips for you guys. Just keep brushing. Now one thing about period or vintage hairstyles I see on Broadway is they always look so sleek and clean. But the only way to achieve that is with hot rollers and hot rollers don't last nearly as long as a wet set does. So we need to create the smoothness of the Broadway hairstyles but with this wet set. So what I'm gonna do is add a bit of oil. Now if you have really thin or fine hair, you should not use oil. This is going to weigh down your hair and immediately take out all of the wet set you just worked so hard to create. But as you can see, I've got a lot of 80s frizz going and while some of that is good for this hairstyle, we don't want quite that much. So I'm going to take it down a little bit with a pump or two of oil. Just kind of on the ends where it's really frizzy. Alright, now we can start pinning. Now most of us modern day ladies don't have short enough hair to create the classic page boy style. So I'm going to create sort of faux short hair and pin my hair up a little bit in the back. So first thing I'm going to do is section out the hair in front of my ears on both sides. We'll work with that later, like always. And then we're going to pin up the back of the hair. Now as you can see, I've lost quite a bit of curl in my hair. This is because I made my wet set a little too wet and it didn't dry properly overnight. So it might take a bit of experimentation to find the exact right amount of wetness and styling product you'll need to get your wet set to come out nicely in the morning. Splitting the back of your hair into three sections so it's a little more manageable. Take one section. Take your finger and put it where you want the bottom of your shorter hairstyle to end up. Then fold the hair up. Pin it about part of the way up your head where you want your little bit of a bun to start. And then flip it back over and pin the tail ends underneath. We're creating a bit of an accordion roll, so rather than rolling your hair up and in, we're going to do up and down. That way we get the nice curls at the end of your hair to end up on top. Of 
When I flip back down, if I find I have a few pieces of hair that aren't quite long enough to reach the bottom of this hairstyle, I will just leave them free and hanging because it gives a better illusion that my hair really is that short. So it goes without saying, these front sections are the pieces that frame your face. You want to make sure you're really happy with these. So the first thing I'm going to do is tease around my face a little bit to get that extra volume. And what I'm going to use to tease is my teasing toothbrush. A toothbrush that has never been in my mouth and is just for teasing my hair. I like using a toothbrush over a regular teasing comb because this is a lot finer of a brush and it gets a lot finer of a tease. You'll still get volume, but you'll find you'll have a lot less of nasty rattiness that you need to brush out before you put your final hairstyle in. Tease, hairspray, lay it flat to dry. The three keys to good volume. And as I said many times before, whenever they do a look with the wig, it always has way more volume than natural hair normally would. So we gotta fake that as best we can. And then we're gonna start pinning sections back, trying to maintain as much of the curl from our wet set as possible. And then put a sneaky little pin right in here. Then just hairspray the rest of this baby and you are all done. <laughs> and then you're all done. Like most vintage or wet set hairstyles, this one can be quite finicky. It might be better in some days than others, but don't be afraid to practice and you'll eventually get the hang of it. But a wet set is one of the hardiest and longest lasting ways to curl your hair. So I think even if you have really thin, fine, stick straight hair, you're still gonna have great success if you try to use the foam rollers. Just don't be afraid to look kind of weird with your curlers in, cause you'll probably have to sleep in them overnight like I did. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's hairstyle, maybe consider pressing the subscribe button down below so you can always be sure to see more of my beautiful mug. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, break a leg on your production of White Christmas. This is a great day for me to film my first Christmas hairstyle. Look. Look at all of that. Just happened overnight. I love Minnesota. like a grandma in this. Does that mean I did it right or wrong? <laughs>